and fight for justice news. Submitted by finals are coming. That's right, study. That's us. why we're not getting views right now. You guys gotta stop studying. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's Joe. Study breaks with us. A teen serving a life sentence for killing a man after being forced into the sex industry is back in the spotlight. Spotlight. Is this who I think it is? Is it the girl? Yep. yep. Oh, is she, Isn't she being charged for shit even though she was doing it in self-defense and she was in one of the worst situations in her life? I will tell you the entire situation you can be able to do that. Let me fucking okay. know. Because I heard that what's being passed around on the Twitters isn't really what happened inside of the court case. Yeah. Okay. Let's talk about it. Let's hear it cuz. Alright. Let's hear it cuz. So, this story is about Satoya Brown. She Satoya. is now... 29 years old. Ooh. She's been in prison for over a decade. Oh, Damn. But her, but her case has now resurfaced all over social media, mainly because of posts from Rihanna, Kim Kardashian, LeBron James. Are they Luka. friends with her? No, I'm not really sure like why all of a sudden it's been popular. But all these celebrities have been posting this. So it's this image circulating. So it's her photo with her summary of her story. Would you like to read uh. it? Imagine at the age of 16 being sex trafficked by a pimp named Cutthroat. After days of being repeatedly drugged and raped by different men, you were purchased by a 43-year-old child predator who took you to his home to use you for sex. You end up finding enough courage to fight back and shoot and kill him. You, you're, you're arrested as a result, tried and convicted as an adult, and sentenced to life in prison. This is the story of Sintoya Brown. She will be eligible for parole when she is 69 years old. Free Sintoya Brown. Yeah, and Rihanna, uh, she posted this on her IG, and she said, "Did we somehow?" Or she capt and she captioned it, "Did we somehow change the definition of hashtag justice all the way? Cause something is horribly wrong when the system enables these rapists, and the victim is thrown away for life. To each of you responsible for this child sentence, I hope to God you don't have children, because this could be your daughter being punished for punishing already." Hashtag free Centoya Brown. Hashtag how many more? I would have gave her a trophy if this story was the story but i know that there's many other stories yeah there's more to this oh. if I, that's the first thing i read i was like this is fucked up mm -hmm. this is not right. right but there's more to it i saw comments from other people like hey y'all need to just read the court case because when you understand that that's not what happened the details oh. are different yeah what, what is the damn details because this shit is what as we call juicy <laughs> yeah and well um, they call you that too Ooh, that's my stripper name. At first I thought I was like, <laughs> why is Tia or Tamara in a jumpsuit? Sister, sister. Yeah. You know I'm proud of me with you. Now everybody sees how different we have oh, going no. to be. Wow, wow. All right, let's go. <laughs> sister, sister. This is Kim's post. She if, tweeted this. If she was a pedophile hunter, I would give her a trophy and a million dollars and I would let her work undercover and catch all the pedophiles and hunt them. She is so yeah, pretty. Yeah, this is She looks Filipino. She does. Like black and Filipino. Mm, black and Filipino. Okay, so her, case, so her case first received a lot of attention uh, in 2010 because of a documentary named Me Facing Life, the Centoya Brown Story. Ooh. Now, Documentaries be helping people? Mm -hmm. That's cool. Like making a murder? Yeah, so her background here. She suffered from fetal alcohol syndrome. Okay. So her mother drank a lot of alcohol when she was pregnant. You guys don't know what that means. So that means we gotta get... She was born already. Yeah. We gotta get the mom and make her drink rubbing alcohol. Yep. So symptoms of fetal alcohol syndrome uh, include delayed development, problems in thinking, speech, movement, and social skills, poor judgment, and difficulty with impulse control. So people... So people That sounds like me. <laughs> Did your mom drink? <laughs> nope. She was just addicted to that tea. That green tea drinking hoe. <laughs> That's your mom. <laughs> Don't punish me, mama. Yeah, so she, so Santoya grew up in an abusive home and she ran away from her, her adoptive parents' house. Between the ages of 12 to 14, she assaulted at least one teacher and was involved in roughly 20 assaults on other children. Oh, man. What, what is, what's the definition of assault? A hitting? Like hitting? I think oh, okay. it could be a lot, but it's physical. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Thank you. Move on. And then, uh, so at 14, she was placed on a heavy-duty cocktail of drugs 
for depression and anxiety and she was entered into alcohol and drug treatment. That's so sad. In psychological evaluations at that time, doctors noted that she behaved irrationally, suffering from wild mood swings. Here's a quote from one of the doctors. Uh, she had little sense of self-worth and she expected others to fail or betray her. Yet, she acted in ways that made those expectations reality. She was nearly incapable of trusting anyone, yet she badly desired approval. Going into this whole thing mess that she got into, she met a 24-year-old named Cutthroat who raped and abused her and forced her into prostitution, she claims. This is a quote from her. She said, quote, he would explain to me that some people were born whores and that I was one, and I was a slut, and nobody would want me but him. And the best thing I could do was just learn to be a good whore. Uh, in 2004, at the age of 16, she says that she was solicited for sex by a 43-year-old named Johnny Mitchell Allen, who was a real estate guy. And so he drove her back, into her, back to his house, she says that she resisted his advances and that he reached under the bed for what she assumed was a gun because he had showed her his gun collection and said that he was a sharpshooter in the army. Um, and so when he was reaching, when she, she's claiming that she, he was reaching under the bed for something and she got scared that he was going to be shooting her so she got a gun out of her own purse that Cutthroat gave her and shot him in the head. And so it is a conflicting testimony because at the time of her arrest she originally stated that she shot him when he was asleep but then she ended up changing her story but the forensic evidence did not support her self-defense claim because when they found him uh his hands were like under his body and like he was in a position of him asleep so mm. that's like the conflicting thing did they have sex do they know so there's one that said that she refused but then there's other reports saying that she did end up having sex and shot him afterwards so i'm not too sure like to rob him yeah, so then the court, so prosecutors are saying that she was not motivated by self-defense, but that her intent was to rob him because she ended up taking his wallet, his guns, and his car before fleeing. So that's oh, what happened. She was tried as an adult and convicted of first-degree felony murder and aggravated robbery. And so her possibility for parole is at the age of 69 because of the laws that they have in Tennessee. Yeah, and so... Damn, that right now, the prosecutor is not happy about the current media attention. This is what the prosecutor said, quote, There has been a group of people who have wanted to make Miss Brown a victim and a celebrity since this happened. She was not trafficked, nor was she a sex slave. It's not fair to the victim and his family and that the other side of this case is so seldom heard. That's what the prosecutor's saying. I'm not sure exactly why he's claiming that she wasn't trafficked, or maybe he's claiming that she wanted to live that life or something. I'm not No one that. wants to live that life. Yeah. No one says, I aspire to be a fucking hoe. When I grow up, I want so much dick and AIDS, I'm gonna be the best fucking hoe in the world. <laughs> no one wants that shit. And then plus at the age of 16, like- They're so driven they're into that. Like, yeah. yeah, someone fucking manipulates them. Someone yeah. makes them feel that they don't have any, you know, self-worth or anything. And then they manipulate them. They don't have a fucking father figure. So then this pimp comes around. I protect you, bitch. You one of my fucking bitches. That's what happens. And then some guy with three first names comes up and wants to fuck. Billy Bob Joe? Fucking Johnny Mitchell person? Johnny Mitchell Allen? First of all, you don't trust anybody with three first names. <laughs> that sounds like three Mitchell fucking Allen. people That's in one. Right. Right. Does he have multiple personality disorder? I don't know. Well, people Mitchell are gonna person. be telling you, okay, Joe, Joe. <laughs> I'm a mystery man. <laughs> but let's go back to this story. Yeah. Even if he was just a regular army guy that wanted some pussy, she was underage, right? But the, I saw other reports saying too that she admitted to lying about her age when he picked her up, so I don't know. It's just a big old mess, but the thing that doesn't help her case is if she left with his guns and his car. Mm -hmm. And his Money. wallet. <laughs> yeah, that's that's just robbery. Regardless of what happened, even, even if she got raped or whatever, there is an aspect of murder and robbery to it. But I don't know all the other details. Like if, if if he did repeatedly rape her and do all that stuff, then yeah, I could see the self-defense. But even if in self-defense, if you still leave with all those items, it doesn't help your case at all. At Wait, all. was was he in like quote unquote possession of her? Like he owned her? Is that what she? Who's he? The the guy that was the, murdered. The, 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 no, that was. Yeah, 
that's what he was. He solicited sex from her. Okay. So he had picked so, her. So, because he also, I'm guessing, like the other thing that's very odd is that this person had to be a, have been comfortable with her and her whatever hooker job that she was doing to the point that he was comfortable enough to sleep around her. So he was relaxed mm. if he and, was shot in the sleep. And why would he show her his gun collection? Exactly. So he wasn't in fear of his life if he was shot in his sleep. That means he was comfortable to sleep there to be shot. That's like, that's Maybe like. he fucked her, or if he did fuck her. I don't know if he did or not. But even if, like, you don't say, you don't just sleep around the hooker. You know what I mean? Yeah, you don't sleep with a stranger in your house. Yeah. Yep. I'd be like, where's my wallet? Mm-mm. I'd be sleeping with my fucking purse bag like this. <laughs> Thanks for the blow job, but I gotta go to sleep now. <laughs> I'm locking my room. I, I, I feel pretty bad for her, though, because even though what she did was, like, illegal, mm -hmm. she murdered a man or whatever, but think about how fucked up her life was all throughout her life. She's getting repeatedly raped and all that. And then you ask, you ask this person to act morally and stand up. Like, what the fuck? She was set up to fail. Society yeah. failed on this person. A lot of people that want to see her free, that's the argument here too. It's like- Yeah, her mom she, fucked her up. She was born into fucking failure. And you expect the moral person? I mean, yeah, she did something wrong, but then, and it doesn't make what she did any better, but it's like, it's almost like, duh. I think for her, she has to She's pay good. the consequences of her actions, but till 69 is really, really extreme. There are people who do way worse exactly. than her, they get way that's less. The, yeah. That's the weird shit. There's yeah. people that get away with fucking worse. Yeah. Yeah, so because of Centoya's case, they actually changed some laws to help like teens that have been convicted. Yeah. Because right now, apparently what the law is like, if you get convicted for something like this and you're not eligible for parole until 50, 51 or 53 mm -hmm. years until after. So then that's the fucked up part. It's like an entire life is, your entire life is gone just because of a mistake when you were a teen. So they're trying to change it to be more fair, like more proportionate uh, to the age and the context of the crime. Yeah. Have you guys seen that meme? They put this one next to the Stanford kid. Yeah. And the Brock, like Brock Turner. Yeah. Oh yeah, that fool raped the girl, right? And then he mm -hmm. got away with it. That's the one that Snoop Dogg posted, I think. The one, because because his family knew the judge or something like that, right? Because they were rich. Yeah, they were rich. Got away with it. That's some crazy shit, man. This is the guy that she killed. Three first names. Yeah. And so now that she's been in prison, she, she's she been studying. She did complete an associate's degree. Oh, that's good. So she's now working towards her bachelor's. That's good. Is that jail college? Yeah. That's really? pretty cool. Wow. Good for her. Yeah, I think she did her time, and if she's becoming reformed, then, you know. You know, it, it, it sucks when you hear stories where people were not given the chance to even live a normal life. Mm -hmm. And it's like when they do something like murder or whatever, it's like... How dare you? They're judged hella hard. Like, what the fuck do you expect? If you were if you were fucking from birth, you saw people stealing, robbing, killing, shooting, fucking raping you. You were used as a fuck toy. You were fucking drugged up at the age of seven. It's like, what the fuck do you expect? Even McDonald's won't hire your ass. It's like, and then you're like, oh, you shouldn't be killing people. It's like society failed on her, man. Doesn't make what she does okay, but that's some weird ass shit. I don't know. To me, I just want to sprinkle love dust on everybody. Love dust. <laughs> Fucking change rainbows. it. Yeah. A <laughs> little bit of cracking weed. Oh, fuck. <laughs> that made things worse. That make it worse. That's that not what I imagined. I was thinking of a fucking EDM party, okay? Where everyone's having fun. I was just thinking rainbow yeah. glitters.